What makes a memorable boss fight? A uniquely designed opponent, a unique setting, and combat that creatively tests players' metal. But sometimes boss fights become iconic because we're forced to battle an opponent who tries to cheat their way to victory. These 10 bosses all turned their respective game rules upside down, flipping the script as they forced players to contend with a series of attacks that they were in no way prepared for. From flat out betraying the mechanics players had spent hours mastering to trying to convince them to turn the damn console off to screwing with their controller in ways both clever and incredibly infuriating, these bosses all refused to play fair during the crucial encounter. Now, in some cases, it left you ready to break furniture, but in others, there was an undeniable respect for the left field thinking on display. For better or for worse, players hoping for something close to an on-the-level boss battle were left with anything but. I'm Will for what Culture, and here are 10 video game bosses that cheat to win. 10. Mitch Connor, South Park The Fractured But Whole You've got to give South Park The Fractured But Whole some measure of credit here. The game is entirely aware that one of its toughest bosses is a total cheater, and clearly has plenty of fun mocking that fact. Mitch Connor, the demented alter ego of Eric Cartman's left hand, flat out decides to ignore the game's firmly established rules during the player's two major encounters with him. He will randomly apply status effects to make the player slowed, grossed out, or burned, while also being able to reflect the player's attacks right back at them. In the second fight at the end of the game, he'll even teleport around the area on a whim. The other kids call Mitch out on his blatant cheating, of course, but he doesn't let up until you finally beat the snot out of him. And boy, does it feel good. 9. Scarecrow Batman Arkham Asylum The Batman Arkham series made an art out of screwing with players' expectations, but never more so than during Arkham Asylum's hallucinogenic showdowns with Scarecrow. In the most memorable instance, Batman ends up doused with a dose of the supervillain's fear toxin, shortly after which the game appears to freeze up and promptly cuts to black. A few moments later, the player is then temporarily given control over the Joker, as he appears to wheel back Batman into Arkham Asylum before the Dark Knight is seemingly shot in the head, courtesy of the Clown Prince of Crime. A mission failed screen flashes up, suggesting that the player has screwed up in some way, prompting many a confused player to just quit the game altogether, or restart the encounter. And restarting is what you have to do, but it doesn't actually send you back. Instead, you pull yourself out of the grave and continue the fight. All in all, it's one of the most convincing faux glitches in gaming history. Admit it, first time you played it, you got got. And if you turned off your console, that basically means Scarecrow won. 8. Nitrous Oxide – Crash Team Racing Nitro Fuels in both Crash Team Racing and its recent nitro fueled remaster, the game's final boss is the villainous Nitrous Oxide, and because the racer isn't already challenging enough, Oxide actually decides to start the race one light early. That's right, Oxide speeds off on the third red light rather than waiting for the green, giving him an instant one second lead on the player. Considering that the race is already absurdly difficult, given that Nitrous has unlimited access to the previous three bosses' weapons, Attacking on an immediate time disadvantage as well feels rather cruel. But to be fair, if they had removed Nitrous's cheating from the remaster, you can bet there'd be a fleet of angry fans raging about it. If nothing else, it's faithful to the source material, as agonizing as that may be to the rest of us. 7. Young Xehanort – Kingdom Hearts Dream Drop Distance Now, Kingdom Hearts players are no strangers to infuriatingly challenging boss fights. Sephiroth, anybody? But the difficulty slides into straight-up cheating in Dream Drop Distance's penultimate boss fight against young Xehanort. He will throw an astonishing array of attacks at the player, but even if you manage to whittle away his health, he'll stop time and summon a huge clock. Riku has roughly a second to trigger a reality shift, or Xehanort will rewind time all the way back to the start of the battle while regaining one third of his max health. But that's not all. Even if you trigger reality shift in time and make it onto the second phase of the fight, you will need to destroy the clock in the center of the arena before time runs out. Or Xehanort will, once again, reset time, wiping out all your progress and making you start the entire fight again. It's a maddeningly cheap tactic, and it can turn the battle into a terrible slog. 6. High Priest Beyond Good and Evil 
Beyond Good and Evil's final boss is the High Priest, and because it being many times larger than protagonist Jade isn't enough of an advantage, the boss decides to well and truly throw two defiant middle fingers up at the player. Several times during the fights, the High Priest will invert the player's controls, which is even more infuriating than it sounds because the screen is also blurred later in the fight, severely limiting your ability to see impending attacks coming. Given that inverted controls are very clearly a player limitation rather than an obstacle thrown at Jade herself, it is especially cheap, and basically underlines a lack of imagination in a game otherwise overflowing with it. After all, why come up with a creative way to challenge players when you can just make them wrestle with the game's controls instead? If I sound salty, it's because I am. 5. Photoshop Flowey Undertale Photoshop Flowey, better known to fans as Omega Flowey, is Undertale's final boss for players who take the neutral route, and he pulls out every dastardly trick in the book. Before the fight even kicks off, Flowey informs the player that they won't be able to reload their prior save to escape the fight, and even when you do appear to defeat him, he simply reloads a save file he created at the start of the fight, allowing him to regain all of his health. To rub salt in the wound, Flowey then continually kills the player and reloads loads the save file to kill them again, before taunting them with the possibility of summoning help, which ultimately leads nowhere. It's all part of the game's wonderfully meta fabric, of course, and totally succeeds in leaving the player clueless as to what Flowey might have up his sleeve next. 4. Shin Ammon – Judgment Yakuza fans are no stranger to cheese bosses who have more life bars than they do clean pairs of underwear, and recent spin-off Judgment decides to take this trolling in an altogether crueler direction. Shin Ammon is one of the game's mercifully optional bosses, with a stonking 7 life bars, he represents the toughest challenge the game offers. But because that's not tricky enough, Shin is also able to steal protagonist Yagami's phone, in turn preventing players from accessing the menu to use any items. If you didn't have the foresight to bound any items to your shortcut menu, the rest of the fight is incredibly difficult, and basically underlines why it's thankfully a bonus challenge rather than a compulsory storyline battle. 3. Matt Miller, Saints Row the Third. Saints Row the Third's mission, Decker's Die, culminates with a boss fight against expert hacker Matt Miller set within the malleable confines of cyberspace. The mission begins with Miller using his skills to transform you into a toilet, a sex doll, and finally a generic computer avatar. As you shoot your way through the mission, Matt will continually screw with you, such as slowing your avatar's movement speed, inverting your left analog stick, and even causing you to lag, before forcing you to partake in a D&D style text adventure and a tank shooting minigame. Keep fighting and you'll end up facing Miller's own monstrous avatar, where he'll pull out even more tricks such as shrinking you down to size and nerfing your gun. To be fair though, unlike most of the fights on this list, the screwiness here is more fun than it is frustrating. 2. Psycho Mantis – Metal Gear Solid just like Saints Row the Third, Metal Gear Solid's Psycho Mantis fight mitigates most of its potential frustration with its sheer jaw-dropping creativity. The battle sees Solid Snake fighting the deranged Psychokinetic, who spends the entire boss battle screwing with both Snake and the player as much as possible. In addition to scanning the player's memory card and forcing their controller to vibrate, Mantis is able to predict all of their controller inputs and therefore avoid being attacked. That is, of course, until players work out that Plugging their controller into the console's second controller port stops Mantis from being able to read their mind, so to speak. This was so utterly ingenious at the time of the game's release that it was tough to be mad about Mantis cheating, even if younger players were no doubt left stumped by it for a good long time. 1. Shao Kahn Mortal Kombat 9 and finally, we come to a boss who blurs the line between cheating and just being infuriatingly cheap. MK9's climactic battle against Shao Kahn is one of the most infamously difficult boss fights in fighting game history, if only because it seems designed to make the player, who's forced to play as Raiden, squeak their way to victory as lamely as possible. Most of Khan's attacks cannot be blocked at all, yet he's able to block almost all of your own with ease, while dealing out attacks with invincibility frames that deal like 40% of your health bar in one. To all but the most prepared of players, Khan will wipe you out in record time, and it can literally take hundreds of attempts to do it. 
If there's any boss fight on this list agonizing enough to make players actually want to snap the disc in half out of sheer indignation, it's surely the cheater cheater pumpkin eater that is Shao Kahn. And there you have it folks, 10 video game bosses that cheat to win. Feel free to drop this video a like if you enjoyed it, and drop me a follow on Twitter at usly I'm Wilf What Culture, thanks for hanging out, and I'll see you next time.